You're welcome to Flip TV. I am Matilda Omenai. The headlines. Tinubu congratulates U.S. President-elect Trump. We were starved, locked up with criminals, minors. Now the news in full. Tinubu congratulates U.S. President-elect Trump. President Bola Tinubu on Wednesday extended his congratulations to Donald Trump on his re-election as the 47th President of the United States of America. Tinubu expressed his eagerness to strengthen the ties between Nigeria and the United States amid the complex challenges and opportunities of the contemporary world. His congratulatory message was conveyed through a statement signed by his Special Advisor on Information and Strategy, Mr. Bayo Onomuga, on Wednesday. The statement was tied to President Tinubu congratulates President-elect Trump. According to him, Trump's victory reflects the trust and confidence the American people have placed in his leadership. Therefore, he congratulated the U.S. electorate on their commitment to democracy. President Tinubu released that giving President Trump's experience as a 45th President of the United States from 2017 to 2021, his return to the White House as the 47th President will usher in an era of earnest, beneficial and reciprocal economic and development partnerships between Africa and the United States. Tinubu also acknowledged the United States' influence, power and position in determining the trend and course of global events, trusting that President Trump will bring the world closer to peace and prosperity. Police deny maltreatment as release protesters narrate their three-month ordeal. After being granted reprieve by President Bola Tinubu on Monday, several minors aged 14 and 17 who were arrested during August hashtag and bad governors nationwide protests against hardship in the country have shared their unharrowing experiences while in custody. On Friday, 76 suspects, including 32 minors who were arrested during the protest, were arraigned by the Inspector General of Police on 10 counts bordering on treason, intent to destabilize Nigeria, and inciting to mutiny by calling on the military to take over the government of President Tinubu, amongst others. Four of the minors, who looked visibly malnourished, collapsed during court proceedings before Justice Obiora Iguatu at the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court. It sparked out choir across the country with civil society groups and rights activists blaming the police and the government over their treatment of the minors from Kaduna and Kano State. Following the uproar, Minister of Information and National Orientation Muhammad Idris, during an emergency briefing on Monday, told State House correspondents at the Aso Rock Villa, Abuja, that President Bola Tinubu had directed the immediate release of all the minors. Consequently, the Abuja High Court in Abuja struck out the charges brought against the protesters by the police. On Tuesday, Vice President Kashim Chetima, before handing over the minors to the governor of Kanan State, Abba Kabir Yusuf, and his Kaduna counterpart, Ubasani, argued that President Tinubu's decision made on humanitarian grounds despite evidence of wrongdoing was an opportunity for personal reform. The minors returned to Kano and Kaduna on Tuesday night with tales of wolves, describing their experiences while in custody. Those from Kano have been kept at the Mohammed Buhari Specialist Hospital where they are being checked and treated by a team of medical personnel. They are expected to remain in the hospital for five days before they will be reunited with their families. Some of them who spoke to our correspondent at the Muhammad Buhari Specialist Hospital, where they were taken on their return to Kano on Tuesday night, said they were denied food by the government officials for several days. Ali denied involvement in the process, saying he was arrested on his way to the market at Kwana Hudu in Ungogo local government area of the state, where he usually does many jobs to sustain himself. He added that they were kept in the dark while under custody, which he said affected some of them when they went for trial. Another minor, Ibrahim Ali Musa, who was transferred from Kano to Abuja a day after his arrest, said he and others were kept in the same place with hardened criminals. Also narrating his ordeal, a 13-year-old boy who said he was arrested at Gadon Kaya in Gwale local government area said he was accused of flying the Russian flag, which he denied doing. The 39 detained protesters from Kaduna State on Wednesday reunited with their families. The children were given 100,000 Naira and A18 model ITEL Android phones each by the Kaduna State Government. The brief ceremony was held at the children's home along Kari Road in the Metropolis with Governor Uba Sani promising to rehabilitate and empower the release hashtag bad governance protesters from the state. This, the governor said, provided them to turn a new leaf and become responsible and law abiding members of the society. Speaking to journalists after the protesters were released, the secretary of the Kaduna State Government. Dr. Abdukadja Muazu Meiri, who spoke on behalf of Governor Sani, disclosed that the governor had detected him to collect the credentials of those who had completed tertiary education. 
The governor promised that some of them will be given startup capital to commence trading, others will be taught skills and some given employment. However, the SGG noted that they will track the activities and conduct of all the 39 miners to ensure they were of good behavior before these benefits will be extended to them. Thank